It was signed into law right here in San Antonio in 1992. It went into effect in 1994. The North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, broadened the U.S.'s trading area to include Mexico. So 22 years later, how are we maintaining relationships with our neighbors to the south? That's what Pilar Arias shows us after taking a trip to Piedras Negras. We are not divided by a river, but we are united by one. Leaders of Eagle Pass and Piedras Negras say they're one community, working towards the same goals of expanding the rail and commercial traffic ports of entry. We are proud to work in Regal. We are the one of the main uh, companies, factories right here in Piedras. Most components that come into this factory come from the states. They're then turned into small motors and sent right back to the U.S. It's a great partnership. We receive a lot of uh, support for our U.S. headquarters, and, and, and it's great to, to supply good quality products to the U.S. The free trade agreement has its critics. Some say it lowers wages, results in loss of jobs, and erodes labor standards. But Rogelio Garcia with the Free Trade Alliance San Antonio says the city has benefited from foreign investments, exports, population growth, and infrastructure. I would probably say that the case of San Antonio as an example of, you know, countering those uh, those criticisms because there's a way to make it work. One man who's worked at Regal for seven years makes 213 pesos a day. That's just under 12 American dollars. It helps out Mexico a lot. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people that need employment. Right up the street, people celebrated a new bridge opening. The area used to flood so badly, people traveling to and from the U.S. couldn't pass. Signs of investment and continued growth can be seen on both sides of the border here. And that's something both Mexicans and Americans say they're proud of. Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News.